Congratulations, Son, and nobody has bought this yet, and it's melting right in front of our eyes, but the Frozen, do you get a piece of the Frozen merchandising that's been, this, this movie has taken off. They made off. toys? <laughs> no, I didn't, I, no, I don't. So, so you must have known. I mean, Disney makes great movies. All their movies are great, but this movie in particular. Yeah. Well, I don't think anyone can foresee the the like box office, what, like craziness that it hit. But I'll tell you, when we were making it, there was a part of me that was going like, "This is really special." Like I, I've been a part of a lot of things, but this it just felt so unique, and I'm so proud of it because it's just, it's unlike anything they've ever done, and I love the fact that it's not about romantic love, it's about believing in someone, even when they don't believe in themselves, and I, I just get so proud when I think that I was a part of a project that's shown to kids that, you know, just tells them, like, be who you are, be different, be quirky, and let it go, you know? And let it go, and, and your daughter will grow up and watch this movie and go, my mommy was in this amazing movie. Yeah, You've got to be proud of that. Proud. It makes me very proud. And you hope that there's a sequel, I assume. I would certainly do a sequel yeah. if anyone asked me. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully they won't wait as long as Finding Nemo, because Finding Dory, I'm... <laughs> fi Wasn't ten it? years! Ten years! <laughs> you can imagine, like... I can't, no. It was so successful, and I'm like, well, for sure, they'll make a sequel. Yeah. And then it's like 10 years later. That's so strange. I wonder why they do that. Uh, well, because they were making other things, and they wanted to get the script right. This is what they told me, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, <laughs> but it's Finding Dory, and it's a great, ca I'm excited. It'll, I think it comes out in the year 2060 or something like that. It's, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to. Um, your daughter is, uh, Dax was telling me that she's almost one now? Yeah, she just turned one, yeah. Wow, I can't believe she's already I know, won. It seems nuts. like you just had that baby. I, it feels like I did. Uh -huh. But now she runs around and talks, and it's mostly nonsensical. She, yeah, I was going to say, does she talk at one? She does a little bit. I mean, she says mama, dada, and tries to say boobies, which sometimes comes out, which is really cute. Is that a necessary word for her to learn? For at this her, point? yeah, because all, all day she looks at me and goes, uh, <laughs> milk. She wants milk. So. I'm a, I'm a walking food truck. That's how it's done? Yeah. I, it's... <laughs> no, that's I, the signage yeah, for it. Okay, okay, because I thought <laughs> there wasn't necessary that. No, it's a lot more comfortable than uh -huh. that. <laughs> that would be annoying, really. <laughs> yeah, just give her a bottle. Does your baby dance like that? She, not like that, but she does love to dance. And Is she, she a good dancer? She's a pretty decent dancer. She points at the jam box in our living room when she wants to dance. Wait, you have a jam box in your living room? Of course. <laughs> like, what a silly question. Like the kind of yeah. thing you used to roller skate to yeah, in the you, 80s or something? Yeah, you put it on your shoulder if you felt like it. Uh -huh. But you can throw any music to it. And she loves R&B. And she has like a series of moves where she, she just lets her, her hips take her away. Uh -huh. And she loves to Jersey Turnpike. I don't know that. What is that? It's, have you not seen the Jersey Turnpike? Y'all know that? I'll do it for you. Wait, can I get a beat? <laughs> she goes like that. That's amazing. That's uh... her body takes her away, man. She travels when she dances. I can't explain it. That's a risky thing to do on a dance floor, I think. <laughs> but but that's impressive that she does that. So that's now adorable. we both do it with her because she starts it, and I think it started because she didn't have a ton of balance. Right. And then now we've encouraged it, and that's like yeah. her go-to move. <laughs> That's probably how it started with a lot of dancers. They just were drunk and they ended up on the ground and they're like, let's call it the Jersey Turnpike. Right, but let's make this a move. Yeah. 